Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about the Earth's atmosphere and how it's changed over time. Uh, so the Earth is believed to be about four and a half billion years old, and for the first billion years uh, the Earth was just a, a hot volcanic planet, and the gases in the atmosphere at the time are believed to have all come from volcanoes, um, and the three gases that we're going to focus on that came from volcanoes are water vapour, H2O. Now it wasn't liquid water because the planet was too hot to have liquid water at the time, so it was gas water, water vapour. Uh, we had CO2, carbon dioxide, loads of it. Scientists think that um, at one point the Earth's atmosphere was likely around 95% carbon dioxide. And ammonia, NH3. Now there were other gases that are believed to have come from volcanoes as well, but for the purposes of the WJEC specification, we're going to focus on just those three. Water as a gas, carbon dioxide as a gas, and ammonia, NH3, as a gas. Um, now, the Earth was very hot, like I say, for the first billion years, but then it slowly started to cool down. And as it started to cool down, eventually it reached a point where it was cool enough that some of the water vapour, water gas, could cool down and condense to form liquid water um, and form oceans. Here is an ocean I prepared earlier. Um, once we had our liquid water, huge amounts of liquid water forming vast oceans across the, across the planet, this allowed some of the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, remember we had loads of it, like 95% carbon dioxide, some of that carbon dioxide would dissolve in the oceans. Um, as well as carbon dioxide dissolving in the oceans, eventually we started to get the evolution of small photosynthesizing microorganisms tiny organisms that carry out photosynthesis and that took carbon dioxide in from the atmosphere and gave out oxygen. So that's where the oxygen came from. The oxygen didn't come about until we had photosynthesizing organisms. To begin with they will have been microorganisms and then eventually the evolution of green plants um, as well. Now. After the evolution of green plants, then we start to get to the evolution of, and we've got oxygen in the atmosphere, so we get to the evolution of simple um, simple creatures that carried out respiration, um, and then eventually um, larger animals that also carried out respiration. Now respiration is the opposite of photosynthesis, photosynthesis. So respiration took oxygen in and put carbon dioxide out. But something else that happened when you had the evolution of, of sea creatures, marine organisms, was that many of these creatures have shells. And the shells are made from, amongst other things, carbon. So they would make their, they would use some of the carbon from the atmosphere to make their shells. And when they died, the sea creatures would end up layered on the bottom of the ocean. And they would end up getting covered with sediments, sand, other sea creatures, um, and eventually those layers would, would build up and the pressure put forcing down on them would turn them into sedimentary rocks, things like chalk and limestone. So some of the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere that went into these sea creatures actually ends up becoming trapped in sedimentary rocks. Okay. So that explains where some of the carbon dioxide went. Um, if, we, if we had at some point 95% carbon dioxide and we now have a tiny, tiny amount of carbon dioxide, 0.04%, much of that dissolved in the oceans. A lot of it ended up in sedimentary rocks and also some of it was converted into oxygen um, uh, through photosynthesis. So um, the oxygen that we have in our atmosphere now, that's come through uh, photosynthesis by green plants and trees. Um, and we're left with where the nitrogen came from. Now I said that the third gas that volcanoes produced is ammonia, NH3. Well, when there was oxygen in the atmosphere, ammonia could react with oxygen and turn 
produce nitrogen. So the nitrogen that we see in our atmosphere now uh, came originally from ammonia, which came from volcanoes, um, and through reactions with oxygen in the atmosphere produced nitrogen. So you don't need to know the exact percentages of gases that the Earth started off with, um, but we do need to know the exact percentages of gases in the atmosphere today. So we need to know that the largest gas in our atmosphere is nitrogen, which makes up 78%. Nitrogen is diatomic, so we write N2, because in our atmosphere we don't have single nitrogen atoms, but we have nitrogen molecules. Um, we have 21% oxygen, which again is diatomic, so we write O2. We don't have singular oxygen atoms floating around. We have molecules of two oxygen. And the red slither there is actually not carbon dioxide. The red slither here is that we have very small amounts, 0.9% of argon gas. And actually the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere now is 0.04%. Carbon dioxide, CO2. So for your exam, you're expected to remember these percentages for oxygen, 21%, argon, 0.9, 0.04% carbon dioxide, a tiny amount, especially when you consider that it was about 95% of the atmosphere started out as carbon dioxide. Uh, so much of it now dissolved in the oceans, trapped in rocks, and has been converted to oxygen by photosynthesis. And finally, the largest um, percentage um, gas in our atmosphere is nitrogen, which makes up about 78%. Have a go at a few questions, pause the video, and then unpause to see the answers.